Sweet as. Sweet as, man. We're rolling. <laughs> How are we? <laughs> We're good, mate. Yeah, good bye week. <laughs> yeah, I well, mean, uh, so I, just, I, I can't went... stop staring at Harry's t-shirt. It's small. It's, small, <laughs> it's really small. Oh, it's unusually small. Yeah, no, it's not. It is. Yeah. You know me, five X. <laughs> but then the your own backyard, mate. You look. Sorry. The gap between your teeth is unusually yeah. large today, though. Yeah, oh, I, have, I was going to mention Could fit a bus through there. <laughs> <laughs> well, save, it. save it. Save it for losers. Well, <laughs> <laughs> take it off the top racking because we're going to have to address it because it looks pretty bad. I noticed it immediately. You did? Yeah. But you, I, I didn't realize you had a bit of a filler in there. Well, I'm getting Invisalign done. Yeah. This could be my loser. Um, so I had like a little filler behind the back of my two front teeth to fill in the gap to make it look like you got no gap. Yeah. But in order to properly fix them, you've got to remove the filler. So the dentist sort of started that process um, yesterday. So yeah, he said you've got to cop the um, the gap in your teeth for a, a few weeks. But the actual process will only take like twelve months to complete. Oh, they some say other... that it's longer, mate. <laughs> well, you you had it done, didn't you? Yeah. But your teeth were horrible. So no, they weren't. They were. <laughs> Yours took like three years. When did you get it done? Harry? Where, where? When? Um, where? We're all out. <laughs> where? Yeah. Around the plug. <laughs> it's a clinic. <laughs> um, I got it done at the start of January 2023 and I only finished. Oh, really? Oh, so early in your career. Well, mid-career, so. 2023? Yes. <laughs> Obviously last year. So last you, year. you were playing. So you, I'll be able to find photos of you at Carlton with. He had the same thing. He had a little filler behind his teeth as well. Yeah. Yeah, but that, didn't, I've, that never got, went away. I'm yeah. still, I was just wearing Invisalign. You wouldn't be able to tell. Oh, really? I, I'm I, trying to find photos of you. I'd wear Invisalign in here. Yeah. You oh, end. there's your teeth. Yeah. They're not too bad. No, they're fine. Yeah. Well, so I, I did have, I had braces when I was little. Yeah. Um, but it was sort of unsuccessful. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was successful. You just didn't wear your retainer. No, I did. But it, anyway, long story short. Jeez, I found a young Harry. You got big chompers there, the front two. Chompers? <laughs> What do you reckon? <laughs> Good I don't know. I've got his haircut as well. They're, they're, Jesus. <laughs> they're better now. Go back. Right. Anyway. Go your hair out, I reckon. Shut up, man. This or that. <laughs> this or that. Um, oh, echo. What, echo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, Huge no. echo going on. <laughs> What's it? <laughs> just <I don't> <laughs> We're back. Is that better? Yeah. 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 Much better. Um... <laughs> Let's go, Fernando Bale. I think Ben might know this one. Fernando Bale, a Brazilian high jumper who won the 2017 World Championships or Australia's fastest greyhound who broke the world record in 2015. Fernando Bale? Yeah. Oh, well, if you think Ben's going to know it, I'm trying to figure out what that means. <laughs> what was that on the greyhound? Yeah. Um, I don't know any greyhounds, so... Oh, really? <laughs> well, I'm going to go Greyhound. Ben? Yeah, why not? I'll jump on with Rollo. <laughs> no, don't pretend you don't know. Yeah, it's right. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> why do you think Bale, Ben would know that? Well, it's a what? story for another day. Um, But what? the the Bale, the yourself, Bale right? last name... Explain yourself. The, yeah. The Bale last name is um synonymous with a successful Greyhound. Is it really? Yeah. They're all like something something random and then Bale. It's all, if you see, ever see a Bale... It's like a really good um, really? greyhound. Yeah. That's a good little fact. Mm. I hadn't heard of that. Uh all right, we've we've been sloppy off the top. We've been talking about yeah. t shirts and uh teeth and Invisalign. But the big head oh there's a lot of headlines this week we've got to get through. Yeah. So we're gonna talk about your trade rumors that popped up during the week. We're gonna talk about how you are part of Melbourne's new it couple. <laughs> but I think we'll start from a footy perspective with Sam Doherty because that's, that's incredible, isn't it? such an incredible story. Yeah. Is that the quickest return from an ACL ever? It's the quickest been. I'm aware of. Tyson Goldsack made that's the right. 2018 granny, but that was, I think, another month or so yeah. Yeah, longer than Doc's going to return. Jeez. So yeah. uh, what was that like at the club this week? Yeah, it was pretty... So we're recording this on a Wednesday morning. So yeah. yesterday, uh, Doc got told and everyone found out that he was playing and... Um, we were just kind of in the pools doing like group recovery and um, Kripa came over and told everyone and yeah, it was a really cool moment. Everyone just went ham and um, yeah, obviously meant a lot to a lot of people and especially Doc who such a um, loved member of the, of the footy club and um, obviously all the stuff that he's been through for yeah. 
I was thinking for every for every challenge and like um, story that hasn't been ideal for Doc, there's always been like a a bounce back and a yeah. special mm-hmm. story as well. So he's so resilient and he never ever gives up or complains or says poor me. Like so, it's nearly a testament to him that as much as he's had setbacks, he's had like triumphs as well. So that's true. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, for him to come back and and to be honest, he like. A few boys were like, why Why aren't you playing? It was like three or four weeks ago. Like he was just flying around the track looking a million dollars. So everyone was like, mate, you should be playing now. So he was, he's been flying for a while. That's, um, that's interesting. Yeah. yeah. So it's, um, he's very uh, determined. So I remember even mid season, he was saying, I hope he doesn't mind me saying, but he was like, oh, I think, you know, it's progressing really well and looking for, you know, see what we can do for the back end of the year. And everyone mm. was like, wow, that's, that's really quick. But, um, yeah, as I said, he's, moving awesome um such a consistent player so there's no doubt that he can come in and play a role straight away and mm. um yeah it'd be a big lift to have him back so how long has it been so it, six months so round it, zero so was that march yeah. yeah so for people out there that wouldn't know why is this one quicker than say the normal 12 months is it everything's just been pushed a bit harder or is it sam's determination to get back a bit earlier obviously everyone's his, his the same experience, page. experience. Like, yeah yeah i think there's a there's no one answer, but I think there's an accumulation of um, Doc's always been historically really resilient with like post injuries and mm. like a quick healer. Mm. Um, in the stage of his career, I think Doc was like, if we're talking about an 18, 19 year old, you're probably not taking, you know, you're not pushing the envelope as much, but yeah, Doc was risk, really keen yeah. to, to come back quickly and, and um, you yeah, get back for the end of the year. So there's that, there's obviously a lot of diligence in, um, early part of the rehab and mm. throughout the whole process he's worked extremely hard and uh, as much as our um, medical team you know he's been in the media a little bit throughout the year but they've done an amazing job as well so um, hats off to them to get doc ready and um, they've done a fantastic job so yeah it's uh it's really exciting he's I think I'm hoping that doc might be an example of you know every ACLs have always been the one where it's like, oh, that's a year, that's 12 months yeah. done straight away. But yeah, true. the more we hear these successful stories of, you know, um, aggressive rehab and coming back a bit earlier, then hopefully that's um, that's kind of the new norm going forward. Yeah. yeah. Particularly for older players, as you said. Yeah. If it's yeah. a 19-year-old, you don't want to rush it. But Yeah. Uh, so, Seth, okay. let's hear from Sam, actually, because he's been on our show before, yeah, but this yeah. is him during the week speaking to the Carlton Media. When did this become real? When did it become real? Uh yesterday. <laughs> uh, in my mind, I, I, I just had so many steps to be able to pass and I've, I've kept my mindset in that way for the whole time. And um, yeah, I knew the last step was to get through yesterday's session, look really good at training and, and provide enough confidence for the match committee to pick me. Um, I've, I feel confident, but um, if you ask many of the boys, I'm generally pretty confident about what I can do anyway. So it's... Um, it was a matter of being able to show that in front of um, the coaches in in what was the last sort of big training session before we headed up this week. So um, I knew that that was the last step. And once once I got through yesterday, it was sort of, I put it all on the table and it was up to the coaches and the medical staff um, whether they all deemed me right to go, um, which, yeah, luckily they have. And um, yeah, immense gratitude to Vossi to trust me to, um, of Vossi and the coaches to trust me to go out there and perform and um, yeah I definitely want to repay that faith see you on Saturday see you Saturday so unbelievably he's going to play three consecutive games against Brisbane someone at the was talking about this a little while ago <laughs> which, if, if that, yeah which is crazy if you go the prelim opening round and now the elimination that, final has that ever been done before I'm going to say no I, I'm sure someone's done an analysis on, crazy. Uh, on Twitter or something but I'm going to say that's the first time someone's played at the same venue too. But yeah, yeah, that's right. Even, yeah, you're going back to the scene where it all happened. Oh, yeah. Crazy. Yeah, down. crazy. So, Good on him. of course, Carlton playing Brisbane, a final that's happened, of course, last year, but then there was also an elimination final back in 2009. So, a bit of history between these two teams now. How have you prepared? Because yeah, we're talking about week, ben, yeah. ben played the last game of the year up there and was very dewy, very slippery. Do you, do you use like soapy balls or anything? Like, have you have you pulled out any of the tricks like that at training? Uh, we haven't yet. We still got a, a main session tomorrow on Thursday, so um, I'm not sure if put olive oil on the ball or something. But um, <laughs> no, it's been a pretty it's been a great week. It's um, 
yeah, it's this time of year with finals and the preparation. Last week, um, with the week off, it was a little bit more. Um, it still felt a while away the game, if that makes sense. So you yeah. kind of everything was a little bit more relaxed and everything. But then this week, it's been yeah, everything's ramped up and um, the anticipation, and excitement's gone to another level. And um, yeah, training. We had a really solid session on Monday, which was great. Um, yeah, I think the <laughs> the Melbourne weather is a little bit different to uh, yeah the, the Queensland weather. It was a bit cold and windy and wet, but um, no, we had, we had a really good session. And um, as we said, a lot of the last week, the buy has been a really good opportunity for a, a lot of guys to get some really good work in, and then um, also yeah, a bit of a reset and rejuvenation a couple of days as well. So um, yeah, I don't, I don't think it teams are really good at like we know the way we want to play and how we want to get it done and um whatever conditions if the ball's a bit slippery like to be honest every game you play by marvel to get the ball's slippery and mm. if you play a night game at the g it's, it's dewy and wet so it's like everyone's used to it so it's um yeah, yeah i don't think that's a, that's a huge issue but it'd be nice to have a bit of warmer weather and um mm. yeah we're looking forward to it so it's it's, it's nice to have we talked about it the other day, but um, second time around as a group playing finals and knowing what to expect a bit more and um, yeah, knowing what we're walking into. So yeah, I think the group's in a, a really good place. Yeah, nice. yeah, twenty eight, I think on uh, on Saturday, which will be beautiful. I've heard of, I've heard a few different things. Yeah, yeah, twenty four, twenty six, twenty eight. <laughs> It'll be warm. It'll be warmer than here. Uh, and then the biggest question that came through on the Instagram DMs over the last seven days was this. Hi, it's Ava from Campwell. <laughs> Hey, Ben and Harry. Music My name's on. Nate. Love the podcast. Hey, guys. I'm just wondering if Harry is able to play finals this week against Brisbane. I'm just wondering if Harry's going to play against Brisbane for the elimination final. Harry, from a Carlton supporter, I'm really hoping that you're playing this week. Hi, boys. Just wondering if Sam Doherty and Tom DeConan will be playing this week. I'm hoping that if you are playing this week, you can make a really big change and hopefully get us through to the semis. Thanks. Do you actually think Carlton are going to win in Brisbane? I'll be up there supporting. <laughs> Go Blues. Go Blues. Go Blues. All right, we'll start with that one. Do you actually think Carlton will win? <laughs> uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, but yeah, a lot of huge names. Um, there are rumours of up to eight inclusions. Uh, we'll start with yourself. You're feeling good? Yeah, I'm feeling really good. Be, um, Confirmed? Oh, we, as I said, we've got a main session tomorrow, so... Yeah. Um, yeah, there's a few of us that will have to tick the box there and get through that and train well. And then, um, then that'll be all good. So yeah, I'm, I'm in that boat. I feel really good and have a really good last two weeks of training. So, um, yeah, I feel good as goal, but also still got to get through yeah main session tomorrow and, um, tick that off. So there's a number of guys in that boat. So that applies to everyone. So you can't Pretty confirm much. or yeah, rule out anyone think, for me? No. Nah. Yeah. No, no one will be confirmed or denied except for Doc, really. Except for Doc, of yeah. course. But yeah, I don't, I don't envy um, the coaches in match committee who have to pick the team. Good problem to have, though. Yeah, no, it's great. Well, I'll yeah. ask you, Ben, because you're not involved in it, but mm. is there something in eight changes? Have you been involved in a game where there's been, you know, between six and eight changes that many? Mm, potentially. And does it affect team harmony? Is that a thing? I remember... From our or my experience, at the start of the year, it was us and Sydney had the least amount of players played in the first half of the year. Mm. Um, it was like 26 or 8 played. Um, and that, I reckon, for Team Harmony has certainly helped. But I think we spoke about last week, if yeah, six of your best 12 players are available, you, you know, you, you have to play them. You play them, um, yeah. I think it's a, it's a good problem to have. So, yeah, you could argue that the, the team synergy might not be... Um, at its peak or, you know, some of these guys might be a little bit rusty, but you haven't played in five weeks, personally. I missed two games. Yeah, but it was five, it was five <laughs> weeks ago by the time you play. Yeah, throw a bye in there. It's at least yeah. four. Three. Four, three. <laughs> I'm, I'm three weeks well, there's ago. a bye and then I missed two. So how, what's two plus one? Yeah. <laughs> no, from the day you missed. From the day you missed to now. It'll be Saturday, what's two, four and a half So weeks. do this through the maths for me. You can write it down. Two weeks. Four weeks. Miss four plus the bye. So two plus one. Why are you such a smart? I've missed five weeks, mate. Yes, you have. You didn't me, play. I'll work what was out, the date of the Hawthorne yeah, Exactly. I'll work out how many days. Exactly. <laughs> so just keep padding. <laughs> Will someone talk? <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's a Grinch. How Eleven, is it? <laughs> Whatever. Days since August 11. It was 21 days on, on Sunday. Yeah, it's been 24 days and then it'll be another, what, another three from now. Yeah, so, so pretty close. But in, the, in those 30 days, it's only been two available games. 
Yeah, you've missed two games, but it'll be four weeks. Yeah, well, the four other weeks. blokes haven't played in 15 days then. Two weeks. <laughs> so, oh, God, whatever. How long since you've played, Ben? <laughs> oh! I've played closer to... <laughs> More recently yeah, than you. you're going to play in six months' time, so... Wow. Why are you getting so defensive about that? Oh, why you got I literally said, you haven't played in four <laughs> weeks. Like, how is that a negative thing? You said five plus weeks. You call me rusty. Five weeks. Yeah, you probably will be a bit rusty. I'm sure. Oh, wow. Anyway. Well, anyway, are you going to play? As I said, I've got to get through the train tomorrow. <laughs> why you mean... So? Oh, anyway. Such a straight man answer. Though. Wow. You've been, well, you've been fine for two weeks. Well, the second most popular question... Uh, is this one and <laughs> after that exchange it might have a different answer <laughs> all the same answer hey Ben hey Harry me Jack here from Melbourne Rebecca from Roeville oh, I'm just wondering when you guys play your separate games do you guys cheer on each other's teams Ben are you going to go up and watch cheers guys will Ben be barracking for the baggers on Saturday night there no, we go no <laughs> <laughs> oh shock so you're not going up? No. <laughs> I'm not going up. Why would you support your family? <laughs> well, would you go to Brisbane? To, that's why there's a TV to watch. So. Yeah. yeah. Would you go to Brisbane to watch him? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you may not even get the option. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> no, I'm... Um, would you... You'd go to each other's 300th, wouldn't you? Well, that, these guys played in Melbourne last year in a final, so I went to I went that. to yeah. Bino's 50th game, so that was... There you go, yeah. 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 You've been to milestones, but yeah, as I said, I went to his final last year where yeah. he got injured. Yeah. Um, but the I can tell you that the flights weren't cheap here to imagine. Melbourne, uh, here to Brisbane and back. Well, they reckon the because remember the prelim last year, there was a high contingency of Carlton supporters. Yeah, it was that 50 50 similar again, you reckon? Or surely won't be the same amount because the prelim there was a lot of buzz, fresh yeah. off two wins. I can't imagine you'll get quite the same, but I think it'll be pretty, pretty Carlton heavy, yeah. That's my gut It's a feeling, cool ground. But... That's why the Gabba's a cool mm. ground to play. It's always though. loud there. Like, yeah. it's a bit of a smaller stadium. It's always full, always loud. Can you, yeah, can you confirm that for me? I feel like, have it, I've grown up at the Gabba, I've been hundreds of times, but I feel like a loud screaming Gabba is as loud as the MCG yeah. when it's walking. Last year in the prelim, that first quarter, that was every part of a 90,000. Yeah. Because what does it G? hold? 30 something? 35, but yeah. it holds it in. I don't I know agree, how to explain it's it. sort of straight up, yeah. And it's smaller stadium. No, I love I love the Gabba. It's yeah. a really cool place to play. So, yeah, but you're not yeah. going up. Not going up. <laughs> so why not, why not American for other team? <laughs> just a neutral. Who are you American for? Just just a, just a neutral. So you, you go well because you're my brother and have to say that. But <laughs> <laughs> no, it'll be a good game of footy. Hopefully, yeah. Not great, American for either one. great weekend of footy. We it should. Uh, right. Do you have a? I mean, Harry, you obviously not going to have another horse in the race because you're in it, of course. But do you have someone that you have a soft spot for? Um, do you... I like how the Bulldogs have gone about it this year. Yeah. Um, I feel like they're very workmanlike and probably slid under the radar a little bit, I reckon. Sort of first half of the year, they were on the back foot a little bit and they've sort of chipped away at it and um, sort of really informed. So hopefully be able to go and watch that on Friday night against the, the Hawks. So um, I think the club might be organising a few tickets to go along and have a look. So yeah, looking nice. forward to that one. Um I think the Geelong and Port one will be interesting as well. Like the first final. Yeah. Um, uh, similar to uh, the Bulldogs, I reckon, Port. Like a little bit of a slow start in that middle period. And then mm. they've sort of got into form again as well. So you're right. There's no bad game to watch. It's going to be nah. a, a, a great weekend of footy. So even the Sydney Derby will be... Yeah. How many times have they played in the finals now? Like a we lot. We just talking about that. I think it's about the fourth time. And yeah. The club's existed for 12 years. So yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Fourth but time. there's no... No, obvious. It's, it's awesome. yeah. There's no obvious favourite either in my eyes. No. It's yep. one of the great final series we've yep. got set up. Yeah. Uh, speaking of uh, things that went under the radar, um, Melbourne's new it couple <laughs> caught, <laughs> caught MJ and my attention day, was it? this week. So Ben, I'll get your assistance here. To, I got me ready. Yeah. We'll start the headline, Carlton star Harry McCoy off, off the market. So um, the he headline says, new footy it couple <laughs> to debut at the Brownlow. <laughs> Carlton star, questionable, Harry Mackay, off the market, <laughs> dating style influencer, Maddie Gooman. Is that how you pronounce it? Gowman. Mm -hmm. Gooman. Yep. Gooman. A, st a star blues forward is off the market and is set to debut his <laughs> new stylish partner at the Brown Note later this month. <laughs> a new footy couple has quietly emerged and will publicly launch at the Brown Note. How many times have I said that? No, no, I agree. No, it's, just, it's, just it's the same <laughs> thing over and over. Carlton Gunn forward, Harry Mackay, will walk the red carpet with style queen, Maddie. We know all that stuff. So. <laughs> Mackay, yeah. 
who has been on the Herald Sun's most eligible bachelor list is now happily <laughs> off the market. And then there's a link there where you can click on the most eligible bachelor list. Were you aware that you're on that? Oh, <laughs> someone did send that to me ages ago, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It was an updated list, though. Well, maybe Maddie's. Uh, Maddie saw it. Uh, Potentially. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh, oh, there we go. His brother, Ben. You get a shout oh, out. Yeah. Yeah. His brother, Ben, a defender with Essendon, has been in a long-term relationship. Early last month, Gurman posted a blurry picture of the couple to her Instagram <laughs> story. But so far, the couple has remained off each other's page, which is incorrect because you posted yeah, about she, it. Whoever wrote the article clearly hasn't looked at my Instagram. Yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. you hard launched. It was hard. Ago. Hard um, launch. That wasn't the hard as it gets. Oh say. my god, it was. God, I'm sick of launch. that term, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sick of that term, hard launch. Well, it's true though. How many wrong. times do I have to be launched? Well, that was the first official hard launch. <laughs> oh my god. We said it when we came in here. We were just like, geez, Harry, hard yeah. launch. <laughs> he had a smile on his face. Like, <laughs> yeah. Happiest he's ever been. Yeah, yeah, no, off the market. Going to walk the red carpet. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said was it. <laughs> and then um, these comments I enjoyed. Ben, you can read <laughs> so some of the comments on the Herald Sun website. No, they're good. On the website. Yeah. <laughs> from Trent gee I can't sleep so much but I oh, sorry I can sleep so much better tonight just knowing that uh, yeah, yeah. Melbourne's new week couple <laughs> D- does she get free tickets to the footy that's a good question she gets free tickets to everywhere now does she uh-huh. is she going up to the gather uh yeah she's gonna come up she, oh there you go I didn't know that. Free, free tickets from Anthony what's an it couple are they good with computers <laughs> yeah, yeah it's an yeah. IT joke IT yeah, yeah. not bad yeah <laughs> but that's good congratulations Harry good to see you <laughs> thanks mate hard launched uh, do, you, do you want to give us a rundown of, of everything that's been happening? Yeah. yeah. Not really. First time you've sort of spoken about it. I don't need to go into too much <laughs> detail. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, G- give us a little bit. Even... There's another yeah. article in this. That's right. What other article? <laughs> if you give us a good quote. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> no, I don't. Well, you, good to see you happy. You've found someone why finally. You, why are you pretending yeah. you don't know? You've, sent, you've known Matty for ages. Yeah, I have, but we're speaking to the listeners. Yeah, the I, don't, I don't know. Well, Where, don't, where'd, well, you don't know. where'd you meet? Just to, I don't need to give every oh detail. God, so uncomfortable. <laughs> Shock. I'm not saying that about it. No, no, we can we love Maddie, and that's it. But we can leave it. No, but congratulations. Yeah, that's yeah, great. It's cool. It's not a bad thing. It's all awesome. it's cool. Maddie's a lovely it's, person. We've yeah. met a few times, so he's yeah. done well. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, let's get off the show. <laughs> oh my God, you're so robotic, man. Oh, well, just, you're gonna give every detail about Taylor? Then go on. I just said, well done, congratulations. You seem happy. Like, who cares? Move on. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <we'll have> <laughs> Yeah. Well, you and Maddie, you're my twinner this week. Oh, so thanks, congratulations. Man. So now we'll get yours. Ben and Harry's. I'm so excited for this. Twinners. Birds often think I'm a treat. And <laughs> losers. I hate cheese. Oh, my God. I'll start us off. Yep. That's Ben. That is Ben. It's ben, eh? Yep. My twinner is a shout out to um, Alexi Popperin for knocking yes. off Novak. Novak. That was unbelievable, wasn't it? And also, um, Alex Demonor was the first person to make a quarter final since Leighton Hewitt since the early 2000s. So, no, nah, he made the quarter last nah, year, I think. No, no, no. It was something like that, wasn't it? In the US. But, um, well, it's equaled something to do with Leighton Hewitt's record or. Yeah. I can't remember what it was, but it's, it's his equal best equal, at a slam. Yeah, there you go. Um, but I reckon he's going to make the semi because he's playing it since, Draper. It was since Leighton Hewitt's run, wasn't it? That. It was something to do with Leighton Hewitt. The yeah, we had the most Aussies most in Aussie the... Was, yeah. Oh, sorry. No, he was the first... Um, oh, this is Popperin. Popperin was the first Australian to beat Novak since late oh, in yeah. 06. There was something about that. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Which is crazy. And then we've had the mo- we've had so many Aussies. Jordan Thompson as well, who yep. Demon or just beat, mm-hmm. um, getting deep into the tournament. And, so, and mm. a few wild cards that went deep. Yeah, so yeah. hopefully by the time you're listening to this, Demon or... Uh, can beat sort of same, yeah. Draper of the. Why do they the call UK? him the Demon? Is that? <laughs> He's just got a. Yeah. Hmm? Just, I don't know. <laughs> I can't bother <laughs> explaining his name. <laughs> Serious. Yeah. I don't know. So you have to ask him. Right. That was my Twitter. It's yeah. good to see Australians going well on the, yeah. on the tennis. Demon, although, quarterfinal of the French he, and Wimbledon this year. He's pretty consistent, isn't he? Yeah. He's clearly our number one. Oh yeah, he's, he's had a great year. Just yeah. Whether he has enough weapons to win it. Yeah, yeah, he's he's uh, he's latent like, isn't he? Yeah. He just kind of scrambles. But even when he speaks in the media, he's like, I just want to get back every point I can. Like, yeah, I, yeah. But yeah, he's but doing he... amazing things. So good on him. Yeah, he's going well. Um, my twenty was just shout out to uh, all the fathers for Father's Day. Nice. Um, yeah, that's yeah, we had we had a nice lunch on on Sunday. So, um, yeah, that was good, wasn't it, Ben? It was lovely. Yep. Where'd you go? 
artist at mum and dad's place. Nice. So, yeah. yeah. It was nice. Lasagna and roast lamb was cooked. So. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Ben was the Grinch, but... <laughs> I think Why? You were a bit of a Grinch. How was I a Grinch? What mate? did he do? Exactly. Oh, he was just being annoying. Oh, oh, <laughs> well, everyone, you're so annoying, mate. This is this is maybe a loser as well for Ben, but it's our sister's birthday. It was yesterday, yeah. so happy birthday to Hannah! And happy birthday, Hannah! Hannah Rose. It was, it was it was always it was pre um, set up that we we're going to do like a hybrid it Father's, was. Father's Day lunch mm. on the Sunday and it Hannah's was. birthday celebration as well. Like just a bit it's of not a, true, but just a hybrid mix. So <laughs> no, well, I, I, hey, 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 this is mine. Don't jump in. <laughs> you can rebut after. I will. So everyone <laughs> obviously got a Father's Day gift, and then everyone got a nice, nice card and present for Hannah as well. Yeah. And then um, it, it came up to Ben's turn to give Hannah a present. And he's like, oh, I didn't even no, think it was well, Hannah's birthday. True. I haven't got anything. Just, yeah, it was quite an unprofessional. So not true. So <laughs> unprofessional. Unprofessional. You're an idiot. <laughs> so everyone else no, had these lovely Father's Day, so I got... And you didn't get anything. So our grandpa, so dad's dad was there, so I got... Yeah. Um, got my bag he of lollies. Like, he loves licorice, so I got yeah. him a little bit of licorice. Bag <laughs> of lollies. <laughs> From 7-Eleven on the way in. <laughs> what did you get him? Exactly. He's not my father. Yeah, but still, it's a nice thing to do. He's a father. Yeah, exactly. Also, have to get it to every father in the world. No, but it's just a nice thing to <laughs> do. Maybe get your sister a present or a card. And so I got dad some wine and... Um, he wanted to buy something, so I got him a little bit of money for it. Yeah. And then, no, I did completely forget that we were doing Hannah's um, yeah. birthday. But I got on the front foot and said, Hannah, I've, I've forgotten. <laughs> but it, you were two days early. Two days early. Yeah, time. So I was like, yeah, so I'm going to send her some flowers or something. So be fine. Oh, but you haven't yet. Oh, yeah. So it's a Wednesday and her birthday <laughs> yeah. was yesterday, but you haven't. So You, you yeah. could have fixed it. Yeah. <laughs> I am you could have been on the front yeah. foot, but you're very much on the back foot now. <laughs> no. Yeah. So, but anyway. No, that's all right. Yeah, it's all right. Just not. <laughs> losers or was that yours Harry well that that was one loser my other loser was um, on Monday it was a bit of a wild day weather wise but wasn't it crazy it was so we were training in the afternoon and um, out of nowhere well it was pretty windy all day and stuff but massive hailstorm. yeah like, like five cent pieces coming down and we had to stop like run everyone sprinted off under the bench to like get protection for like five minutes yeah it was crazy mm. that was yeah, never seen anything wild. like it wild mm. The wind, I've been uh, yeah. woke me up. Yeah, it's been horrible. So, mm. unlucky. Yeah, what's your loser? Oh, I'd no, just run with the teeth. Yeah, <laughs> the yeah they, are, they are. Can't stop looking at it. They look fine. No, they look fine. They'll, mate. they'll get sorted. No one can tell. <laughs> <laughs> so you obviously waited until the end of the season. Was that for like vanity reasons, or just so you didn't want another thing? Well, they reckon that with the Invisalign. Because you obviously your teeth are changing, you'd have to change mouth guards every oh true month That's or so. Annoying. So we we decided um, it'd be easier to do it once the season's sort of true. finished. So um, yeah, yeah, it's not a big deal. But did you have it booked in for start of September? Uh, <laughs> no, October was the first <laughs> <laughs> consult. But anyway, we can. <laughs> That's a cheap shot. That was a cheap. I didn't mind it. <laughs> you did like it. Yeah. Um, now, this one is interesting. So, Brandon has a question. We'll get him to address it. Brando. G'day, lads. Blues.afl from Instagram here. Just got a oh, question nice. for Harry on how a player deals with having their name brought up in the media regarding trade rumours and speculation and all that. Go, Blues. At Blues.afl. What well well, done, mate. This is a slight question. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, great question, Brandon. So, just for context, by the time we finished recording, we wandered outside in the studios here and the Sam McClure article had dropped saying that Harry Mackay, key Carlton Ford is one of the names that could unlock a trade with Christian Petrarca. Uh, so it wasn't even, there were no quotes from you. There was no kind of connection yeah. to the Carlton football club at all, but your name just got dropped. Yeah. So talk us through what that experience was like in the couple of days after it. Yeah. It's a, it's always a strange 48 hours or so when like your name's raised in a situation like that, like a trade speculation. Um, I remember I was just, we, it was during our buy, so we had a, a couple of days off and was just sitting at home and got a call from my manager saying, look, there's this article that's going to come out. Um, like your name's going to be raised and like, obviously there's nothing to it. Like it's just all hypothetical. Um, da, 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 but so you like, knew that in advance? Yeah. Cause like, the journalist has had to contact my manager. Yeah. And then it has to be quoted in the, if they contact the manager, it has to be yeah. like quoted in the article. Um, so yeah, so I knew that was, um, 
there was going to be an article at some stage come out, but yeah, probably how it was reported and um, later on that day, it was probably a bit more full on than than what I was thinking it was going to be. But yeah, I think that next 24 hours, you get a lot of calls, a lot of messages, like family members asking, like checking in, uh, seeing what's going on. So I don't, I'm not sure people fully understand, like um, I think they might think it's, oh, it's just part of the part mm. of the job and you know, that's what they you, know, you put up with as a player and there's definitely an element of that. But um, yeah, there's definitely quite a lot of people close. It's more probably the people close to you that haven't, because when you've been around for a while, like us, you've, you've seen it all a little bit. But mm. yeah, it's funny the yeah the amount of calls and messages and family members checking in and um, yeah the everyone at the club is awesome. Like I reckon it was it was a really um, yeah good sign of a really good culture from the club when like key stakeholders people were just ringing out straight away saying obviously nearly having a laugh about it. Um, yeah, saying like this is there's no merit to anything. Like mate, you're you know. <laughs> super valued and it was nearly just we well, having a bit of a laugh about it so it was it was really good from that point of view and I think the club was great but um yeah it's it's, it's more definitely I think as an industry we and because we're in the the media game and we're in the the content creation space so I think sometimes we need to have more awareness around throwing a name hypothetically up and not understanding like the collateral damage that for sure yeah. that has sometimes because and then even for the um the mutual um, supporter, they take that and they, it's nearly gospel for them. So mm. it's like, I remember that the next day I was leaving the club and there was a, a young family, a mum and three daughters were there and had their cartons of uh, jumpers on and was asking for a photo and an autograph. And the young girl would have been six or seven. But when I was silent, she was like, oh, are you getting swapped to Melbourne? Like, please don't say you're getting swapped to yeah. Melbourne. And I was like, oh, no, no, not at all. Like, and she's like, oh, like, that's good to hear. But she, like, obviously for a couple of days would have thought that and yeah. read that or seen something on the news or whatever and and taking that as to be truthful. So, yeah, I think as an industry, we just have to be careful about just kind of blatantly just throwing up a name just for a story or as as we can do sometimes. So, um, yeah, not knowing that there is a little bit of, like, collateral damage. And I'm, as I said, big enough and ugly enough and there's been plenty of worse th- things said than that. So that was an issue. But, um, yeah, it's more actually is when when a name like that to get back to brand's question when you are actually raised in a as a name there's that next 48 hours or 24 hours like there is quite a bit of mm. even if it's like a lot of it's just like a good laugh about it and a lot of the people at the club it's it's pretty funny like when in the next day and all the boys are laughing about it and it was, it was all very funny but um yeah it definitely does your phone goes ham for for, for a day yeah. or two and um yeah mm. but also yeah the club is awesome like they like they always are with that stuff and um yeah Everyone's been great, but yeah, it was a bit funny. And yeah, it is like a compliment, though. You know, like it was. Yeah, well, as I said, there's, there's definitely you, worse. You're things good said. enough to unlock a trade with Christian Petrarca. Yeah, but I guess, um, yeah, as I said, there's there's plenty of worse things that could be said. But um, yeah. yeah, it's probably just more the. As I said, I don't think we understand fully sometimes that when you just raise someone's name, like that next little yeah. bit actually has a carries a bit of. Oh, there's a bit to work through the next couple of days. Like your For phone sure, goes yeah. ham. Like yeah, and it, supporters come up to you. Like your dad's calling you. Like <laughs> yeah, because yeah. once because it would say it was a Herald Sun. So if the Herald Sun or the Age, whatever one it was, yeah. say something, then SEN will jump on it, and then Fox Sports will jump True. on it. So then, to your point, Harry, everyone who's in those circles that read it, it starts to become yeah almost gospel because five, six, seven different outlets are jumping on the the fact that it's just a, a rumor. That's true. Um, yeah. So yeah, from one public publication starting it, like four or five jump on it because it's yeah, it's you're right. It's a something to say, something to do. Um, it's part of the industry, but yeah, it, it's amazing when one person says it and there's four or five different things true, yeah. sort of jump on, and then that's how it becomes big. Just triggers like it's an triggers, avalanche. yeah, because yeah. like they don't want to be the ones that don't sort of report on this rumor, even though it's just a pure rumor. Yeah. Um, and so the yeah, I feel like that's how it's sort of catches fire almost yeah. yeah it got to a point where you were photoshopped in a melbourne jumper or so one point yeah, which well, is just crazy as i said it is it takes over like wildfire yeah like, for like a day or two and then they move on to something else but it's um but even it's yeah. funny how like so your manager obviously said there's not in any way will this ever happen but yet like there's publications who just disregard that and say yeah we, we know that you said that but like there's still a way it can happen like yeah it can get done yeah like, and now christian's denied he's even 
thinking about but leaving still anymore. Be, like, there still was a chance Petrarca yeah. might want to leave. Like, here's how it gets done. Like, yeah. just like he's clearly said he's not leaving. Or Harry yeah. and their club and manager said it's never going to happen. But yet they still try and like push the envelope and yeah. Do, and then do like, their job, I suppose. But yeah, who else could come? Yeah, that's get right. for Harry. Like, it's, yeah. it just <laughs> unlocks these conversations that are just you know it's, fantasy. There is a reason why they call it the silly season because it yeah. is. It just becomes ridiculous. But, yeah. but it was funny. The walked into the club yesterday and people always are laughing about the article with Maddie about the um in the confidential and then I was like, oh, I was like a, a week ago I was trading to Melbourne and this week I'm <laughs> in the confidential can they talk about someone else please yeah um, we're laughing about that off air yeah. pretty much every <laughs> section of the newspaper over the last week slow news fortnight yeah. Um, yeah very slow but yeah so I think that's um a good question Brandon and yeah I think hopefully that gives a bit of insight into what it's like when yeah, your name gets talked about a bit, but it's also said, like you've got a five, six, seven year contract, and there's still people <laughs> talking about the fact that mm. Harry could potentially get traded, or that or their footy club will um, entertain a trade. It's just like it's amazing the lengths journalists go to to try and push the envelope. Yeah, it's crazy. In fairness, though, I think I saw Tom Morris talking over the last couple of weeks, but I think fifty percent of trades done over the last. I don't know, so We're many years contract. have been contracted. There you go. So yeah. contracts feel like they're kind of... I think there's contracts and there's contracts. There's like one or two year deals and then there's five or six, True. I think. So, yeah. But yeah, you're right. It is it is pretty prevalent these days, guys leaving yeah. under contract, but still they will um they won't stop just because you're under contract to try and get um, a rumor out there, will they? So Yeah. And what number are you going to wear at the days? Have you... <laughs> no, straight swap, I think it was going to yeah. be. 32. Yeah. <laughs> I think 32 is available. <laughs> Uh, question time. We'll... Sure. Um, oh, we should do the Mad Monday one. Yeah. Uh, Jared has a question. G'day, Jared here from the Central Coast. Uh, Harry, you pumped for round one of the finals, mate. Let's go, eh? And Ben, you never told us. What did you dress up for at uh, Mad Monday? Curious <laughs> to know. All right, have a good one. Let's go, the Blues. You know, how'd you go, mate? Excited. No, I was actually... um. Really crook last week, so I, I didn't go. Um, it was wasn't a great forty eight hours actually. So. Yeah, it sounds like you had a shocking. Yeah, don't want to go too much into detail, but yeah, it wasn't wasn't in a great way. And then um, so I wasn't able to go to the um, the afternoon drinks that we had. Um, I think the 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 ideas were like um, pork kits or whatever it was. So yeah, um, so you could have just picked anything from your outfit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew he was going to say that. Yeah, I was waiting for him to say that. Because you knew it was shit kicking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, so I think there was some yeah shit kits going around, but um, yeah, I wasn't able to go. Bang. So Ben's wearing his kit in now because <laughs> he didn't get to wear yeah, it. Did you have something lined I up? I had something lined up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to the um the op shop and got something. Yeah. so I was all ready to go. But yeah, it wasn't a great way for a couple of days there. But um, mm. all good now. So that sucks. Yeah. So do you get an opportunity to? Yeah, are there other other opportunities. Yeah, there would be a little bit. Like after the game up in um, Brisbane, we all had a few drinks somewhere. Um, yeah, Hep's family and friends were there as well. So there was a couple of chances, but um, yeah, obviously you want to put your health first and stuff. So it was sure. a great way. But um, glad all good now, mate. Yeah, uh, and we'll wrap up because it's been a long pod. We'll go Charlie from Aspendale. Hey guys, it's Charlie from Aspendale. <laughs> I want to know what colour your favourite pillow is. Great. <laughs> to sleep on or as a decorative pillow? Well, he didn't specify. So, yeah. <laughs> Do you have a favourite? I mean, it's a plain white for me. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. should rotate between white and like a grey, a dark grey, <laughs> yeah. charcoal grey. Yeah, cool. Yep, yeah, I'm probably pretty similar. <laughs> no, it seems like a good note to end on. Yeah. Um, I hope you play well and I hope you lose, Harry. Thanks, Roy. I love that. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm not going to lie. Who are you going for? Yeah. I'm going you just for, said that. Going for the lines. You literally just you're said that. Lines. Heading up Friday night. Jeez, the flights were crazy. What did you, um, you get them for? Well, I, I feel like I got a glitch because I used points. I used 27,000 points, which is pretty cheap. Mm. But then that got me business class on the way up, which I Unheard of. couldn't believe. And then um, instead of spending 600 on the way back, I used points again. So coming back Monday. But yeah, it'd be good to, pretty good. Good to see some sun. Yeah. See, see the see fans. See Brisbane win. See Brisbane win, yep. hopefully. Yep. Jeez. And then uh, head to Happy Sydney day. the next week. <laughs> One yep. of us is going to Sydney we'll be, next we'll be week. In Sydney. Yeah. Yep. We know that. All right. Best nice. of luck, mate. Thanks, guys.